So we're into our third year now of development with Talos Mesh. Um, so before we launched the products, it was about two years that we were actually developing it up to launch. Um, and the reason why it took so long to develop is that there's a number of innovations in the product that we had to come up with ourselves and problems that we had to solve um, to ensure that it was going to work perfectly for the customer. With it being so innovative, one thing that we had to do was um, we had to put together a team of experts who could come on board to help us develop this. Um, there weren't very many Bluetooth mesh-based controllers in the market or wireless controllers. And certainly all of the ones that were on the market at, the, at that point used um, technology that had been bought in from other companies. Talos Mesh is unique because um, everything that's in there, all the technology, the app, the actual physical design of the board has been done by us in-house with um, yeah, a team of experts. So we've put yeah, hundreds and hundreds of hours into the design of the, the circuit board and the componentry to make sure that it's robust, secure, that it's waterproof, that it's it works yeah, in, in every environment that it's intended to. And then we've put, again, hundreds of hours into development of the app as well to make sure that it's, it's, um, it's not buggy, that it's gonna work on every device and that's easy to use. Um, actually, one of the, the problems that we overcame was security. So with Telos Mesh, it's unique because um, you can use the, the network lock mode. And once you enable that, um, it stops sending Bluetooth ad advertising signals. So anybody going past, if they search for Bluetooth network, they will not see it. But the network is still operating. It's still communicating um, within itself um, to ensure that the, the lights are coming on and off as intended. Um, the light level remains as you set it. And yeah, this, this, this is totally unique. There's no other product that can actually hide its network. And yeah, we had to get in experts to help us design that and actually do it the hard way and actually learn um, ourselves how to design the network so that it could, it could do that, so that you could actually um, to hide the network. Um, we did that and we put in the extra hours because we know how important security is for the customer. Um, and that's going to be you know, one of their main priorities when they're, they're looking at um, control solutions, especially wireless solutions. And that's, yeah, that's why it took us you know, getting into our third year of development on the product. And we are still developing it. So we've got um, new features coming out to the app and to the, to the product and it will go into shortly, you know, that's gonna improve uh, the functionality and the way that the customer uses it. Yeah, so, so we, we specifically designed the app um, with a team who were experienced in using Ionic. Um, so that's a coding language that you can use to make apps in Android or iOS, but use the one language. Um, and that's to ensure that we've got a consistent user experience between the two devices. And we put a lot of thought into um, yeah, the, how the user would move through the app, how they would interact with it, and actually everything that you see in the app, uh, all the screens, all the UI, is developed, been developed in-house by Telos. We specified every single way that the, you know every every way that the customer interacts with that is specified by us, and that's because there's nothing on the market that offers this level of functionality. Uh, all the other controllers, you can just dim it up and down, whereas for ours, you actually can enter in a specific PPF level when you're setting schedules. We've really thought about making it easy to use because it is, it's a very complicated piece of technology, but it must be easy to use for the customer. And we feel if you look at the reviews for the app, that's what we've achieved. It is easy to use, um, even though it's a complicated piece of equipment. Yes, so if you get this product out of the box, um, you can be up and running with um, your mesh network set up and connect to your phone in about a minute. So it is really super quick to use, really kind of self-explanatory. So, you know, we've put hundreds of hours into developing it, but you can be up and running with this product in, in, yeah, in less than a minute. Yeah, so we're, we're really keen to, to make this technology accessible for as many growers as possible. Um, and we really feel it's got the power to change the market and change the way that people think about um, the connected grow room and grow lighting control in the future. We're going to be releasing um, a product called the Growcast, which is going to bring mesh technology to other grow lights on the market. Uh, so it's going to be a yeah, universal uh, mesh-based lighting controller. You'll be able to use the Telos Mesh app to control a non-Telos light. Um, and you'll get the same um, ability to set the precise PPF to apply a schedule. Um, you'll be able to hide the network as well so that when it's running, it's totally invisible to anybody searching for Bluetooth. All the functionality that you get with, with the, uh, the mesh enabled 6 and 10, you'll get with the Growcast.
Yeah, so when we developed the product, this is something that we put a bit of thought into. Um, and the security and privacy aspect was something that we, we thought was really important for, for growers. So we chose to use um, Bluetooth Mesh standards um, because you can set this network up and you can use it without requiring an internet connection. There's no uh, communication that goes to a third party server. There's no data that's stored. It's all uh, local communication between the network and your device. But we do, we do realize that um, the connected grow room is something that's becoming more and more important and more growers are becoming aware of the possibilities. So um, we're continuously developing the mesh system. And in the future, you know, we've got products in the pipeline that will add additional functionality to the, the mesh network. And so, yeah, we're, we're looking into that for the future. Yeah, so when we set out on the development cycle for Telos Mesh, we realized that actually it was a much more complicated and complex project than we originally envisioned. Um, and that's because a lot of the innovations in the product we've had to come up with ourselves and we've had to solve all sorts of problems and develop new solutions uh, to make the product as good as it is today. And so there's a lot of um, functionality. You know, we had to prioritize the, the functionality to make sure that it was going to be ready for launch. But it does mean that we've got things in the pipeline that are going to bring new features. Within the, uh, within the control system here, uh, there's actually a, a component called the real-time clock. And what that's going to do is that's going to transform the way that uh, the time is managed on the network. We're working on an update now that's going to enable the real-time clock module that's in here. And that uses a, a supercapacitor that's on the board. And when we release the real-time clock update, what that's going to do is it's going to be able to hold charge for about 24 hours. So if there is a power cut or anything like that, the product will be able to remember the time for up to 24 hours. And we've also got uh, further updates coming. We'll be able to do um, remote firmware updates. So the app will be able to um, update the firmware on your device and enable further improvements in functionality as we go forward. So we've got a yeah, development timeline for, for the mesh, both in terms of hardware and the app. And we've got new features coming and we're continuing developing it to improve it. Um, so in terms of the app, um, there's an update coming, um, which is going to enable the, the grow rooms uh, part of the app. So if, at the minute, if, you, if you're on the app, you'll see it's coming soon. Um, so yeah, in the next couple of months, that will be released alongside the real-time clock module. And what that will let you do is um, you'll be able to uh, set a room up within the app. You'll be able to enter the dimensions. Um, you'll be able to set the, um, the material that's used on the walls. And then you, if you've got um, lights on the network, you'll be able to place them inside those, those rooms within the, within the app. So you could have, say, a, a vegetative room and a flowering room. You can set different schedules for those rooms. Um, you can set different light outputs in those rooms um, and it'll also be able to calculate the, um, the PPFD because you'll be entering the dimensions for the rooms. So that's another level of functionality that's going to be enabled soon. Yeah, it's a, good update, huh? yeah, it's a really sick update. <laughs>